Close your eyes and make yourself comfortable. Take a big deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Take another deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. One last time, deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Feel the gentle rhythm of your breath. Take a moment to listen to your heartbeat. Feel the gentle rise and fall of your chest as it moves in time with your heartbeat. And each time it does this, you feel more and more relaxed, more and more calm, more and more peaceful. Every time you breathe in, you're breathing in deep relaxation and it feels so wonderful and so peaceful. Now tense up your whole body really tightly and hold it for just a few seconds. Hold it tightly and now let it go. Feel your legs going limp and soft as your muscles relax. Feel your whole body softening as you gently relax. So one more time, tighten up all of your muscles in your body really tightly. Pull your hands into fists and hold it for just a few seconds. Hold it and now let it go. That's really good. Well done. Now imagine that you have roots growing out from the soles of your feet. Roots that just look like the roots of a tree, all long, wobbly and nubbly. And you can hear your roots growing through the ground. You can hear them as they push their way through the soil and it tickles a little bit. Really feel the soil under your feet. Can you feel it? This is called grounding and this keeps your energy planted in the ground so that you too can grow big and strong just like the trees. Now see yourself surrounded by a beautiful white light that sparkles and shines, making you feel so safe and so protected because you are this beautiful shining light. And you feel so relaxed now that your whole body is still. So very still and so very peaceful. Now, I'm going to tell you a short little story about Doris, the little pink piglet. She was a very brave and happy little piglet and she absolutely loved everyone, everyone she met. And she wanted everyone to be her friend. Doris was a cute and cuddly little pink piglet. She had a pink curly tail, a pink nose and pink ears that would wiggle whenever she was happy. She loved rolling around in the mud and squealed with joy whenever she found a nice warm spot to snuggle in, even if she did get a bit muddy. Doris lived on a farm. She was a very curious and adventurous little piglet. She was always looking for new experiences and new friends. Doris was always hungry too and would oink loudly whenever she wanted attention or food. She had a habit of eating everything in sight, including her owner's flower beds. But despite this, her owner loved her dearly and always made sure she was well fed. Doris's favourite pastime was playing in the fields, chasing after butterflies and snuffling for truffles. She loved to run around, grunting with excitement and oinking happily whenever she found something interesting. A 
and she nearly always did. But at the end of the day, Doris would always come back to her owner for a snuggle, closing her eyes contentedly as she drifted off to sleep. One day, while exploring the farm, she encountered a group of ducklings playing near the pond. And they were laughing and having fun splashing about in that pond. And Doris really wanted to join them. She wanted to play with them and have fun too. But the ducklings didn't want to play with her because she was different. They said that pigs were not supposed to play with ducks because they were different. This made Doris feel sad and alone. But she didn't give up. She decided to learn how to swim and fly like a duck so that she could play with them. Oh my, oh my word, that's a tall order. So Doris practiced every day and soon became good at swimming and jumping. She even learned how to fly a little bit with the help of some friendly sparrows. Imagine that, a flying piglet. Wow. Finally, the day came when she was ready to show her new skills to the ducklings. She jumped into the pond and swam towards them, making big splashes and quacking like a duck. The ducklings were amazed and very impressed with how far Doris had come. They saw how determined and brave Doris was, so they welcomed her into their little group. Doris realised that she had many new friends and was looking forward to all the adventures they would have together. And she realised that being different was not a bad thing, but rather something to be proud of. And she learned that with determination and hard work, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Be anything you want to be. Doris also realised that it doesn't matter if we are all different from one another, it only matters that we are kind to each other and that we help each other whenever our help is needed. And Doris found that she would always help everyone, no matter how different they were from her. Doris lived happily on the farm, still enjoying her favorite pastimes of rolling in the mud and snuffling for truffles and most of all, playing with her new friends, the ducklings. And from that day on, Doris knew, no matter where life took her, she would always have a warm place to call home and lots of wonderful friends. But now it's time for you to snuggle down and get some sleep. And you think to yourself, what a wonderful little piglet Doris is. And you say to yourself that you would like to be just like her. So as you lie in your nice warm bed, you feel a gentle wave of sleepiness starting at your feet. And you can feel your toes going to sleep. It feels all warm and tingly and ever so soft. You feel this soothing, gentle wave of sleepiness coming up your calves and your shins and you can feel it going up your thighs and you think to yourself oh my legs have gone to sleep yes they have but you feel very tired now so sleepy but so happy and this beautiful wave of sleepiness travels all the way up your body and down your arms and into your hands making your body feel very, very heavy, very, very tired, and very, very sleepy. And this gentle, warm wave of sleepiness travels up your face and over the top of your head, down the back of your neck, and you feel so tired, so sleepy now. You feel so very peaceful now and so very relaxed. So relaxed. 
very, very sleepy. So for now, night-night. <laughs> <laughs>